I'm really with and I'm proud of who I am, where I come from, and how I like to go about life. We are strong Inuit people, and we want to practice or bring back what was ours. And the drum group allows us to come together and share what we know. So that way we can keep our culture alive. So what about the, the music that was in Labrador before the Moravians got there? There's so nothing, music. there's no, nothing written but other than our own knowledge of Inuit culture, mm -hmm. of them just respecting, like playing the drum, we did have our own drum, but our drum too, like First Nations was like the heartbeat of a drum, our drum was like the heartbeat too. Right, we had respect for all all living animals. We had respect for all, all uh, sea creatures, uh, respect for the earth itself. So all that was taken away. Never really did see like throat singing or drumming back home. Like I never did experience it actually until I came to St. John's. I never really saw a traditional Inuit drum. Um, only four years ago, when I was in Ottawa. In an Inuit center, but besides that, I never seen one. Our parents didn't practice; they weren't allowed. Our grandparents wasn't allowed to practice our own, our own culture, our own Inuit culture. What was that all about? Because they thought we were worshiping Satan. In two thousand six, the government of Newfoundland Labrador gave the province or the arts community a whole bunch of money and. At the time, the rooms were holding exhibitions on different native cultures. That's, I guess it, it so happens that that year, they were, their exhibition was going to be about or on the Inuit. So they contacted the Native Friendship Center here in St. John's and said that we don't have Labrador or Inuit representative. We've been living here so long, but we were practicing First Nations, and we were like, why are we practicing another, another uh, nation's uh, culture when, why can't we practice our own? So I ended up meeting up with the rooms with Colleen and Shay. She had asked me, what would we need for this exhibition? Uh, this interview was in January 2006, and the first thing I said is a drum. Um, about a month later, after the first interview, the drum came down from uh, Nain, where I'm from, and it was made by Simon Kohlmeister. And when the drum came, we were all very excited because we could see no end to the potential of what we can do from there on, I guess, unexpectedly. They presented the uh, drum to me on behalf of starting an uh, Inuit, traditional Inuit drum group. And this is the drum. interest of having our own Inuit drum group was here. It was just a matter of how do we start something when we don't have uh, the right equipment. So uh, when we finally did have our first drum, that's all it took, that one drum in Kilautiuk Singuninga right now. And we're a strong drum group now.
In a way, Stan Lukasak um, came to me and asked me if like, I was interested in like, being involved in the drum group. And I guess Stan and Sophie were the ones that were like starting, starting up the drum group. In a way, um, there's a, a professor at Mon whose name is Mary Piercy. And she was one of the ones, um, I guess, helped through, through it all. Not, and she was not like, professor. Yeah. She was teacher up teacher? in Airviet. She was a, yeah, she was a teacher up in Ervia at Nunavut, and she brought down her group, her Inuit drum group. And at this time, we didn't even have an Inuit drum group here then. But um, they too influenced us too with their music. They shared their music with us. So uh, the music that they that they performed while they were here, like Huyavit and Khuyasulipunga, Banya Butsunga, all these songs they sung, now we're singing. Lever learned from CDs, tapes, the computer, internet. When we first started out in the drum group, we actually had two women come down from Nain to do a seminar with our drum group, and they taught us the how to make the sounds properly to um, to sound them out. Because they, what they did was we recorded them while they were doing the sounds, and they broke slowed it down. it down and broke it down so that we were able to learn. The technique of throat singing, um, basically you're using the back part of your throat, you know, the, you know when you're clearing out your throat, <coughs> you know back here, <coughs> your muscles back here, <coughs> no, <coughs> you hear that, <coughs> you hear that right, no, yeah. you try it, <coughs> right, <coughs> right, so you're using that, you got that, <coughs> now go, <coughs> Right. <coughs> no, just as one continuous motion with the same breath. <coughs> right. So you just throw saying. <coughs> That's one. <coughs> okay. Now, if you wanted to learn how to throw sing, I would cut in before you went. <coughs> right. You would cut in with me. Yeah. Right. Oh, so it's okay. So it's a <coughs> pa, pa. right. You hear it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to try it? Wow. trying to fool me up. It is a competition, see, so she's trying to get me fooled up so that she can win. <laughs> yeah. She has to follow me in everything that I do, every sound that I make. So, so it's up to the lead or how they want it to go, like fast, slow, slow, fast, slow, or whatever. <laughs> and it makes it sounds a lot more interesting, I find, that when you do do that. It gives it more depth, I guess you can say. Yeah. Do a mm, pa, mm, chi, slow first, and then after when you get comfortable, speed it up, okay, Nick? Yeah. Yeah. Try making them up. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> okay? Do it slow first, and then do it go fast. want to be together and celebrate being together, to share our knowledge, speak our language, uh, pass on the traditions um, that is fit during the time. And we want to help others, share things. We are just people 
Inuit just means the people uh, that wants to be together and make everything okay. I mean, What's it, what does it mean, does it to, mean be? to you to be an Inuk? <sighs> Strong, proud, survivor, knowledgeable, yet very vulnerable. For now, because okay. um, you're not used to it, yeah. you're not used to it yet. This just that's just a deep technique, the deep part of <coughs> this one. You want a, a real deep sound, but we're going to just use our regular voice. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to go at the same time, but I'm going to cut in. Okay. So Can you start with me then? I'm going to start with you. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to cut in so. Don't mind if okay. we, if we I'll try to grow That's okay. okay. Yep. Yeah. Just try to listen to yourself without listening to me. And if you have to cover one ear, maybe it might be a little bit easier. And I'm um pa um chi. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Just we're gonna be doing the same thing, but I'm gonna cut in. So I'm gonna be doing a um pa and you're gonna be doing a um chi. Okay. Okay? But I'm gonna Start. come with you first. Okay. Okay, one more time. <laughs> one more time. It's okay, yeah. You've done it! Yeah. 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 You've done it for that little bit, you're still throat saying though. Oh wow, that...